Hello students, we are doing chapter 16, Circumference of Circle from class 9th book of West Bengal, Board of Secondary Education. And we have completed till question number 18 in your previous video. So today we'll start question number 19, the MCQ portion of this chapter, okay. This is question number 1 of 19. The ratio of velocity of hour's hand and minute's hand of a clock is. So we are provided with four options. We are asked to choose the correct option among these four, okay. The ratio of velocity means the ratio of speed of our hand to the speed of minute hand is which one is the correct among this four given options. So let's understand this question with the diagram first. Here we have a circular face of the clock. Okay. Let's assume the our hand, minute hand and the radius of this circular face are all equal. Okay. I'm repeating it again. Please listen. Let's assume the hour hand, minute hand and the radius of this circular face are all equal to each other. Okay. So, let the radius of this circular face of the clock be R. Let the radius be R. Radius be R. Okay. Let's say R unit. It can be meter, it can be centimeter or it can be kilometer. Okay. Okay, now suppose this is the hour hand. Our hand when completes one revolution and comes back to the same position, the distance traveled by our hand will be equal to the circumference of the circle, isn't it? So distance traveled by our hand, distance covered by our hand, <coughs> covered by our hand. equal to 2 pi r. Let me repeat it again. When the hour hand completes one revolution and comes back to the same position, the distance covered by the hour hand will be equal to the circumference of this circular face. So circumference of the circular face is given by the formula 2 pi r. So distance covered by our hand in one revolution is 2 pi r, isn't it? And Time taken by our hand is, time taken by our hand is, when the hour hand completes one revolution, the time taken will be 12 hours, isn't it? This is 12, this is 3, this is 6, this is 9, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 hours. Time taken by our hand will be 12 hours, okay? So the speed of our hand, let's say speed, okay, velocity and speed, same thing. The speed of our hand, speed is given by the formula distance upon time. Speed of, speed of our hand is distance covered by our hand, that is the circumference of the circle, isn't it? Divided by time taken by the our hand, that is 12 hours. So 2 1 the 2, 2 6 the 12, this will give us pi r upon 6, pi r upon 6, speed is pi r upon 6, unit per hour okay unit per hour meters per hour kilometer per hour centimeter per hour unit per hour okay now distance covered by second case distance covered by minute hand minute hand is equal to the distance covered by our hand because minute hand will also completes one revolution isn't it? Minute's hand will also complete one revolution means the distance traveled by minute hand will also be equal to the circumference of this circle that is 2 pi r unit, isn't it? So, time taken by minute hand to co complete one revolution, time taken by minute hand to complete one revolution, how much time does a minute hand take to complete one revolution? One hour, isn't it? When the minute hand completes one revolution, one hour time passes. So time taken by minute hand to complete one revolution is one hour. Okay. I hope you are following me. So the speed of minute hand is given by the formula. Speed is distance upon time. Distance covered by minute hand. That is the circumference of the circle divided by time taken by the minute hand. That is one which is <coughs> 2 pi r upon 1 means 2 pi r unit per 
hour isn't it okay now we are asked to find the ratio of the speeds of hour hand to the speed of minute hand which is ratio of speed is ratio of speed speed of hour hand to minute hand okay speed of hour hand is pi r by 6 is to speed of minute hand is 2 pi r speed of minute hand is 2 pi r so 2 pi r so this is pi r by 6 is 2 means we can write into and the 1 from the denominator will go to the numerator and 2 pi r from the numerator will come down to the denominator okay so this pi r and pi r cancels out so we have 1 into 1 in the numerator 6 in <coughs> 6 into 2 in the denominator 6 to the 12 so 1 upon 12 means 1 is to 12 the ratio of speed of our hand to the minute hand is 1 is to 12 so which one is the correct option among these four given options option a is the correct option okay i hope you got this now let's move on to the next one question number two of 19 soma takes pi x upon 100 minute to go one complete round of a circular path soma will take time for going round the path diametrically so these are the four given options we are asked to choose the correct option okay there was a slight mistake in this question but i have corrected it so never mind let's understand this question with the diagram this is the circular park okay this is the center of the circular park so this becomes the radius let the radius be r unit this is another radius okay r unit so r plus r 2r is the diameter of this circular field okay now let's come back to the question starting from this position soma walks along the edges of the circular field and comes back to the same position and she takes pi x upon 100 minute to complete one revolution pi x upon 100 soma takes pi x upon 100 minute time to complete one revolution around the circular field okay and the question is asking us what is the time required by soma to go across the field diametrically starting from this position what time will soma take what is the time taken by soma to go across the field diametrically and raise this point okay so this is the question let's solve this question let the radius be r radius of the circular field be <coughs> r unit okay <coughs> so the distance covered by soma to complete one revolution is distance covered by soma to complete one revolution is distance equal to circumference of the circle is under 2 pi r when soma completes one revolution distance traveled by soma will be equal to the circumference of the circle 2 pi r because the radius of the circle is r so speed of soma will be speed of soma will be distance upon time isn't it distance 2 pi r upon time time is pi x upon 100 minute soma took soma took pi x upon 100 minute to complete one revolution so pi, <coughs> excuse me pi x upon 100 isn't it speed of soma is 2 pi r upon pi x upon 100 this will give us 2 pi r into this 100 will go to the numerator and pi x will remain in the denominator okay pi x pi x so this pi and this pi cancels out 2r into 100 upon x so 2 into 100 is 200 this r upon x this is the speed of sum okay meters per minute or whatever be the unit okay now distance covered by soma to go across the field from this point to this point is distance is 2r and speed of soma is 200r upon x 200r upon x so time taken by soma to go across the field diametrically this is the question isn't it what time will soma take to go across the field diametrically this is the question so time taken by soma to go across the field diametrically is distance is 2r diameter of the circle the speed is 200 r upon x so time is distance upon speed distance is 2r 
upper speed is 200 r upon x isn't it so this is 2 r into this x will go to the numerator okay 200 r will remain in the denominator this r this r cancels out 2 ones are 2 2 ones are 2 100 x upon 100 okay x upon 100 minutes if soma takes if soma takes pi x upon 100 minute to go round the circular field then she will take x upon 100 minute to go across the field diametrically okay x upon 100 minutes so which one is the correct option among this four option b x upon 100 now let's do the next question question number three of 19 a circle is inscribed by a square the length of side of a square is 10 centimeter the length of diameter of circle is so we are given four options we are asked to choose the correct option among these four isn't it let's understand this question okay this is the circle and this circle is inscribed by a square okay which means there is a square around this circle okay square means all sides are equal to each other now each side of this square is 10 centimeter so this becomes 10 this becomes 10 because all sides of squares are equal to each other so 10 10 10 10 now we are asked to find the diameter of the circle okay so this becomes the radius and this becomes another radius radius plus radius radius plus radius will give us the diameter so this diameter is equal to the side of the circle isn't it this diameter is equal to the side of this circle so we are asked to find the length of diameter of circle side of the circle is 10 centimeter we are asked to find the length of diameter of the circle so diameter of the circle is option a 10 centimeter isn't it diameter is 10 because each side of this square is 10 this side of the square is equal to the length of this diameter isn't it so option a is the correct one let's do question number four question number four of 19 a circle circumscribes a square the length of side of square is five centimeter the length of diameter of circle is these are the four options given to us we are asked to choose the correct option okay let's understand the question first so this is the circle and this is the square inscribed within the circle okay this is a square means all sides are <coughs> excuse me all sides are equal to each other okay the circle is outside of the square because a circle circumscribes a square means circle circumscribes a square means circle is outside of the square okay and each <coughs> sorry and each side of this square is five centimeter five centimeter five centimeter 5 centimeter 5 centimeter this is given to us each side of this square is 5 centimeter we are asked to find the diameter of this circle <coughs> we are asked to find the diameter of this circle okay so diameter of the circle will be equal to the diagonal of this square isn't it diameter of this circle will be equal to the diagonal of this square so since <coughs> diagonal of square is given by the formula Di <coughs> diagonal of square equal to root 2 into side this is the formula for diagonal of square so root 2 into side side is 5 centimeter each side of square is 5 centimeter isn't it so root 2 into 5 is 5 root 2 centimeter so which is the correct option among these four given options option a is the correct option okay so the diameter of this circle is 5 root 2 <coughs> centimeter 5 root 2 centimeter question number 5 of 19 a circular ring is 5 centimeter wide the difference of outer and inner radius is these are the four options given to us we are asked to choose the correct option okay so let's understand this question 
this is the ring okay circular ring and the width of the circular ring is 5 centimeter width is equal from all sides okay this is 5 centimeter this is 5 centimeter this is 5 centimeter and this is 5 centimeter this is given to us width is 5 centimeter from all sides now we can see two circles here isn't it one is inner circle and the other is the outer circle okay so this becomes the radius of the inner circle let us represent it by small r and this becomes the radius of the outer circle let us represent it by capital r okay so we are asked to find the difference of outer and inner radius means outer radius minus inner radius okay difference means subtraction r outer radius minus inner radius capital r outer radius minus small r inner radius what will be the value of the difference of outer radius minus inner radius okay so this is a question we know that this is capital r and from this point to this point is small r isn't it the radius of the inner circle small r capital r minus inner r will give us capital r minus small r will give us the thickness of this circular ring which is equal to 5 centimeter isn't it so this will give us 5 centimeter capital r minus small r will give us 5 centimeter okay so option a is the correct option so this is the last question of the mcq portion of this chapter okay this was for today thank you so much stay connected i'll upload the sq part of this chapter in the next video